All righty then, here we go. Let's get in this programming party. All right, so I'll share this document with you. This is the programming template. Right now we've got it in a uh, share drive. So if you don't have a beyond driven email, I'm not sure if you'll be able to, be able to view it, but we'll figure that out. Um, anyways, if you, once you get it, you look at the bottom, there's um, a bunch of tabs. All right, so just a quick overview. There are three different types of days, a density day, a metabolic conditioning day, and a strength day, all right? For a density day, think like a mid-range workout, one of those ones that's not super long, it's also not super short, it's also not crazy intense. Um, at the same time, it's not a long marathon, so it's like that middle ground, all right? Weights aren't real heavy, but they're not real light either, so it's right there in the middle. Um, wads range from one to 20 minutes, um, include short intervals um, with rest built in. Um, and you can do a lot of different things. I know I put down like different options, but really all these formats could be used in any of the programming, um, any of those three days, as long, as long as, you know, you just get creative with it. So there's, there's a lot of fun you can have with it. Um, but, you know, as long as you, as you follow the template and what each one is supposed to look like then get as creative as you want and that's why it's good to have different people program because when you have one person kind of just get stuck in that rut and kind of do the same thing um the second day is metabolic conditioning so think of this one as like that long marathon okay it's one of those ones that's you know somewhere between 20 to 45 minutes um lightweight lots of reps continually moving 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 all right um they'll kind of build in their own rest as needed chippers ladders things like that are great um as always you can always do um four time as many reps as possible any of those like i said any of them can really fit with any of the different days as long as you just get creative and and um, make it fit to what you want it to be and then the last day is the strength day. So think short sprints, uh, built-in rest time, making sure that they're recovering um, and they should be using heavier weights, um, lower, lower reps. Um, you know, those, the wad can be anywhere from one to six minutes, but it might be, you know, multiple two-minute wads or, um, you know, a short, intense workout with a break and then another short, intense workout. All right, things like that. All right, so then that's just the overview. Um, you'll see in there it also says uh, density two, metabolic conditioning two, strength two. All that is is so that when they rotate through in that six day rotating schedule, um, they're not repeating on the same exact day. Um, they're that so every day you're doing something different, um, but the rules stay the same for each. All right, so if you look at if you then go to the actual programming template, all right, you'll see along the side the actual day, the day of the week, um, the date, and what the day is. So um, Monday the 18th, the one that might not have got put in there, um, was a density day, okay? Tuesday, wait, no, Wednesday was the day that, that didn't get put in there, sorry. Um, and again, oh, I'm sorry, we are on November, not October. So that would have been last month because we went ahead and programmed. All right, but each day is along the lines here. All right, up top, you'll see the different um, things that we will be programming for. So tissue prep, if there is any, active dynamic warm up, there should be one every day, the lean muscle strength, um, the Metcon, if you move over, um, accessory and cash out. And now you won't fill one of these every single day. Um, it really depends on what you're trying to get out of that day. All right, but um, I've gone down. If you go up further, you can see the ones that have been programmed and that are already in there. And then I've also um, hidden a bunch of the cells as well. So let's go down to where there aren't any at this point. Um, one thing, um, just as I start out, and I, this is how I do it, you're gonna come up with your own way is I always um, do the strength portion first. So this lean muscle strength, I've been calling it lean muscle because that's the goal we're trying to go through. So most of the rep schemes have been hitting lean muscle, 
Now, obviously, as Danielle had alluded to last time, there may be some guys that are unhappy with that, even though their goals say they want lean muscle, they still want to do low reps, high weight, which is fine. So what I'm going to start doing um, in all of them is you basically choose your own adventure. So based on your goals, um, you can choose the rep scheme that you want for that particular strength session. Um, and then if you look in here, I've already gone through and told you what I want that strength session to be. So for example, Wednesday would be an upper body focus day for strength with a horizontal pull. Okay. So some examples of horizontal pulls would be rows, all right, bent over rows, lawnmower pulls, ring rows, um, a vertical pull would be like a pull up or a deadlift high pull or something along those lines. And that's just saying that's the main focus, but that doesn't mean you can't mix something else in with that strength piece. All right. So with that, um, just a quick example, um, I will paste, I keep pay. I've been pasting the, um, this little thing right now at the top of all of mine. So it's basically reps by goal. So this, even though if someone says they want lean muscle, but then they're telling me they want to do heavy, they don't like the programming because it's, they haven't been doing heavy lifting. Um, I'll let them choose. So um, just so that they know if they want to work on lean muscle and hypertrophy, their, round sh their reps should be somewhere between 10 and 12. If they wanna work on strength, their reps should be somewhere between four to six. And if they wanna work on power reps, somewhere between um, one and three. All right, uh, from there, I'm going to, well, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna go up and look and see what um, other, if there's been any other horizontal pull pulls in the workouts in the last week and it doesn't look like we're up that far yet and this is a Wednesday so there was only two days before that so we had single under sit-ups rope climb high knee rope climb climb calorie row so rope climb is more of a vertical pull because you're pulling boom, vertically up and down um, there's not one in here for the benchmark so um, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, what I want to do for my ver my horizontal pull. All right, we will do a bent bar row. Okay, now, because there's this rep scheme, I don't have to tell them how many reps I want them to do. They get to choose, all right? So we should see most people somewhere between this 10 and 12 rep range. Um, they could even go a little bit higher. Again, it's going to depend on, on um, you know, what the movement is that we're doing. Um, what else? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Turn off my phone. All right. So once I get that in there, then I have to decide how many rounds I want to do, how many reps I want to do. Usually takes me a while to sit here and like look back and see if there've been like a lot of four rounds ahead, then I'll try to do like an EMOM. I'll just try to switch it up and make sure it's always different. I will say that <clears throat> this section, I don't like to last any more than 15 minutes um, at the most, unless it's a strength thing. We just really want to focus on that. All right. After that, I will go to the Metcon. Um, and the Metcons will really try to make full body, but also support the strength movement that we did that day. So if we're doing a horizontal pull um, that's working on your back, I will try to put some other back movements in there, all right? And depending on what the actual day is, since it's a strength day, if you go back to what we had talked about strength being, I want to put in a bunch of short, intense sprint type intervals that are we're going to work on full body have some back involved um you can never go wrong having core involved all right stuff like that all right and then i'll go through and do the same thing um for the next day you'll see it's a lower body day for the most part they should alternate upper lower upper lower and then also with the actual upper body lower body um movement is so whether it's a vertical pull horizontal pull 
a vertical push, horizontal push, all right, and that's just describing the type of movement we're doing, just to get a lot of variety. So all those people that complain about not having variety, I don't know what the heck they're talking about. It's in here. So anyways, so uh, the next day would be a squat pattern um, with a density day. So that would look like one of those mid-range times, all right, so I might do a you know, as many rounds as possible in 15 minutes um, with, you know, two to three different movements um, and with a short rest time built in, um, you know, something along those lines. All right. And then we can also look at, especially on like these strength days over here, the days that are strength, um, putting in like an accessory movement or cash out where they're just sitting there working on focusing on strengthening a single body part or, you know, people that, you know, we do a lot of arms and stuff during accessories just for that cosmetic look type of thing. All right. So that is a brief overview of programming. Um, I'm going to try to share this with everybody. Um, I think I have most people's emails. Actually, I'm going to shoot, I'm going to um, send you guys a message to shoot me your best email to try to share this video with um and also share this or to share the document with i'll share this video um on the coach's messenger and then it'll also be in the youtube channel all right peace out